says, God desires our hearts more than he desires what we do for him. Because guess what? You can't do anything for him. Let me tell you an Old Testament story that always grounds me. I told this probably before since I've been here, but it's one of my favorite stories, and I'm going to tell it. It comes from 1 Samuel in the Old Testament. King Saul has been appointed the first official king of Israel. Samuel the prophet had been holding things together, but the people wanted a king. You know the story, so they asked for one, and they got Saul. There's a nation nearby called the Amalekites, and Israel goes to war against them. Samuel, the prophet, says to Saul before the battle, he says, my paraphrase, God told me to tell you something. Don't leave anyone alive. Take no prisoners. Take none of the spoils of war. Nothing. Scorched earth and come home. All right, that's the summary. Scorched earth and come home. Pretty simple instructions, right? Saul says, okay. So King Saul leads the men out to battle, and they win. The next day, the prophet Samuel goes to meet King Saul, and he hears a noise at the campsite. It sounds an awful lot like, bah. He says, what is that? Samuel says, it sounds like sheep. Are there oxen over here? Where did you guys get that gold from? And to cap it off, there's the king of the Amalekites, King Agag, sitting there tied up. Samuel throws up his hands and says, Saul, tell me what I'm seeing. You, you heard me say, scorched earth and come home. And here we are, earth. King Saul says, oh, we decided to keep some things, but don't worry. We brought back these things so that we can use them to make a sacrifice to the Lord. Don't worry about the disobedience. We're going to make an offering. Here's the words that Samuel said to Saul, and I want you to meditate on these words. Samuel said, has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to listen than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of divination, and presumption is as iniquity and idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you from being king. And from that moment forward, David was God's king over Israel. So, Think about that prophetic sentence. Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice. What does that mean? It means simply that God is not moved by what you do or don't do for him if he does not have your heart. Saul thought he could get points by disobeying God and then making an offering to God. Ananias and Sapphira thought that they could get points by disobeying God and making an offering to God. The heart is what God wants more than the offering.